Hi, this is Vicki with Crafting for Fun. Today I'm here to share with you some really quick tips on how to create a box uh, from your envelope punch board that you can store your cards in. Now you can make boxes for cards in a variety of different sizes. This box is about 5 eighths of an inch deep and it holds standard A2 size cards. So here's a regular envelope and I'm just going to slide it in and you'll see that there's plenty of room in there. So you could probably get uh, four to six cards easily and probably even more if they were not very heavily embellished. Uh, this one is just decorated in a birthday theme. I just took a strip of uh, designer paper and uh, stamped a, a little sentiment that says the more the candles the bigger the wish and popped it on top of a scallop circle. So really really easy to decorate this. You could put any kind of a closure you wanted on the back. You could put a velcro dot. You could put a magnet to close it. You could put a belly band around this. You could even tuck it in the back, the flap in the back there. And like I said these can be created in any size. Now I'm going to tell you if you use your envelope punch board to create these boxes, there are really only three very simple rules that you need to remember. The first rule is you'll need to increase your paper size from the recommended size on your envelope punch board for the card that you're going to be putting in the box. You'll need to increase the size by one and a quarter inches. That's rule number one. Rule number two. It will give you uh, a recommendation for where to make your first score mark. You will need to increase that by one eighth of an inch. So you'll move your paper to where it says and then move it over one additional little line on your on your uh, measuring tool. So increase the, uh, the first score mark by one eighth of an inch. And then the second is you'll need to make a second score line one inch from where you made your first score line. I'm going to show you all that in my demonstration in just a moment and it will all be crystal clear. So let me get set up here and I'll show you exactly how you can make cute boxes to fit all of your card sizes using your envelope punch board. To create today's project you'll need the following items. You'll need an envelope punch board. I'm going to be using the Stampin' Up! punch board but the We Are Memory Keepers punch board is exactly the same product and in fact they're both made by We Are Memory Keepers so <clears throat> it doesn't matter which one of the envelope punch boards you have and it comes with a scoring tool. You'll also need a strong adhesive. I'm going to be using score tape today uh, but you could use fast fuse or a red line sticky tape or even a liquid glue but any good, perp uh, good quality um, strong adhesive and you'll need a pair of scissors and of course you'll need a paper trimmer in order to cut your cardstock down, your cardstock or designer paper down to the appropriate size. Now, when you make a, a regular envelope using your envelope punch board, there is a there's a guide here on the on the tool itself that shows you what size you need to cut your paper to, and what score line to use for a given size of envelope. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using those measurements that they're provided and then we're going to be tweaking them a little bit. So for example, for the four and a quarter by five and a half, it tells me that I need to cut my paper to eight by eight inches. Now I want to make a box to fit four and a quarter by five and a half size cards, so I'm going to use that card size, but I am going to add one and a quarter inches to both the length and width of my paper. So I have cut my paper to nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter because they told me eight and a half by eight and a half and I added one and a quarter inches. Now it tells me that for a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, that I need to um, make my first uh, score line at three and a half inches, but I need to add an eighth of an inch. So you're going to be able, you're going to need to do a little fractions here. Three and a half is the same as three and four eighths, exactly the same. And I'm going to add one more eighth, so I'm going to go to three and five eighths. If you're not good with fractions, Adding one eighth means you'll just go to the next line on the envelope punch board. So I went to three and a half and then I scooted over one line to the three and five eighths. So I am going to punch and I'm going to score. Now if your paper extends beyond the envelope punch board just take it as far as you can and don't worry about it. Uh, then I'm going to add one additional inch. So I'm at three and five eighths. I'm going to move it over to four and five eighths and I'm going to make another punch and another score. 
and that's really all the measuring that I'm going to have to do for this project because the rest of the time I'm going to use this little score guide here on my tool and I'm going to line it up with my already scored marks on my paper. I'm going to punch and score again. I'm going to move it over to the next already scored line. I'm going to line this score guide up. I'm going to punch and score. And I'm going to do that all the way around on all four sides. Punch and score. Oops. Got out of my little track there. And punch and score. And punch. Oops. I'm having a little hard time staying in my track. And punch and score. So I have my uh, cardstock here, which has been punched and scored on all four sides. And I'm going to turn this over, and I'm going to fold along all of my score lines and burnish well. And this would be a time when you would want to use your bone folder. Now, you're going to want to find your score lines at the corner and you're going to want to cut up from the along the edge to the first intersecting score line where you have that little square on the corner you're going to want to do that on two of your corners now I'll tell you truthfully I like better I'm going to fold this back you see how you get a kind of a jig jag score line there I like to line my scissors up with this straight edge here and just make my cut like that and just cut off that little bit of extra. Um, I think you get a smoother finished look to your project and I think I did it on that side. So I'm going to turn it around to the opposite side where I also have four squares and I'm going to cut two of my squares off. And again I try to cut straight to get a better look on my finished project. and I have removed my corners. So I have two where the corners are removed and two where I just have little flaps. Now I'm going to turn my flaps back and I'm going to add sticky strip. Now the trick to getting a good uh, nice uh, corner there is to apply your sticky strip at least make sure some strip or uh, some score tape is near the uh, the fold line there because that is actually nearest the part that you will see when you look at the outside of the box that'll make more sense here in a moment now I'm going to turn this flap up and these well I don't need I'll put the flaps from the inside in and I'm actually going to put a piece of score tape right along the edge of those little side flaps. Really, really simple and easy construction on this project. So right along the edge there. So I'm going to begin by removing my sticky strip liner from my little tabs on the corners. And I'll do both of those. And you know, this project is simple enough where you could actually practice with some scrap paper to make sure that you're comfortable with this before you uh, attempt it with your, with your nice paper. So I'm going to make sure that all of my glue is on my tab and then I'm going to turn this in and make a nice tight corner. Just like you do when you're making a box. So I have a nice right angle there and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Burnish it well with my fingers. And this is what I have so far. So now I'm going to remove the sticky strip from these flaps. And I'll do it from both sides. I'm trying to make my camera behave. It is having real difficulty focusing and I think it might be time to invest in a new camera. So now I want to fold that bottom flap up and again I want to make nice right angles and burnish that well. I want to keep this line straight and I want to line this edge up over here. And now that the first one is done I'm just going to spin it around and do the other side. And now my box is finished. It's 5 eighths of an inch deep and I'm going to grab an envelope here 
actually I have a card here. I'm just going to fit that in there and you'll see that there's plenty of room to spare. So, if you have any questions, please email me at craftingforfun at gmail.com or check out my blog, craftingforfun.blogspot.com. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tutorial on how to make any size box using your envelope punch board. Enjoy!